Now here I am in the mysterious back blocks of Castlemaine talking to Mr Dave Reedy, who as you can see is surrounded by the most magnificent collection of Harley Davidson, mostly motorcycles. Um, Dave, just tell me, this is a, a brilliant collection. How long has it taken you to put this together? About 40 years. About 40 years, so a lifetime of most normal people. Unfortunately, it takes that long. It does, yeah. it does. Now, the obvious questions I have is like, um, how many have you got and um, what is your favourite and what is the most yeah. valuable? Look, I think there's about about 50 of ours here and there's probably eight or nine of other people's that uh, to leave them here, but yeah, around about that. It was never a numbers game, it was purely about finding unique machines and mainly machines that are unique to Harley's history. Well, I think by any measure you've been successful in that endeavour. There must be a favourite somewhere amongst here? Yeah, not, not, not really. I always say the favourite's the one you're riding at the particular time. Um, look, there's some that are more desirable, more valuable than others, but, uh, you know, they're all fairly hand... Well, they're all hand-chosen, just... Uh, yeah, uh, fitted our eclectic taste. Right, so, I mean, I'm looking at many of them are, are kind of standard, but there's obviously a lot of uh, heavily modified races, particularly from the, am I guessing here, I'm saying the 20s and 30s? Yeah, yeah that's the area that we ended up being focused on. Um, probably started of uh, bikes from the 50s and 60s that we related to, but then we worked our way down, and Harley have a really rich history of building really cool racers in the 20s and early 30s and that was the area that we sort of concentrated on and it was also in that period that uh, period modified started so the really cool bobbers and all that originated from from that era and if you were lucky enough you started with a race bike to build the ultimate bobber and we're fortunate enough to have a couple of those. Excellent well I can see there's some pretty exciting um, machines here I think the only time I've ever seen a comparable collection is actually in the museum itself in Milwaukee. Um, would I be close in that approximation? Again, the, uh, the Milwaukee collection is fabulous and it's far broader and generally of stock machines. Mm -hmm. Where this is, you know, we, you know, we were a dealer, you know, for 40 years. Uh, and this is just what appealed to our taste. We we're always into customising, chopping, riding, racing. And so those were the bikes that appealed, and if they were modified, that didn't matter too much, and we generally left them in as found condition. Right, right. So here, um, do you have? Well, I've only just walked in the door and haven't had a chance to look at everything, but you have some workshop facilities here um, for maintenance and restoration. We just have we have enough to just do our own bikes. Yes. Yep. So you don't take anybody, you don't have customer bikes coming through the door? Generally not, unless they're extremely good friends. <laughs> and now, I mean, it's beautifully presented. You've got a brand new premises here, you've got wonderful photos on the wall and all sorts of memorabilia uh, all around the place. Uh, is the, how can the public see this? Uh, they generally, they can go to our website, harleycitycollection.com.au, and open days are posted on there. OK, so we're not a seven-day-a-week sort of place. No, I've got to have some time off. Yeah, <laughs> time to fix your bikes. Yeah, so, I mean, but when, I mean, for example, on the weekends, are they generally open on the weekends? Uh, no, it's really just those chosen open days, a handful of open days a year that give the uh, right. general public the opportunity. OK, we'll keep an eye open for that. Thank you very much, Mr Reedy. And I am going to salivate on your collection um, for the next few minutes at least. Thank you.